good morning students today we will discuss operating system in this we will discuss what is operating system is in the this operating system we will discuss what is an operating system we will also describe the basic organization of computer system how the computer system is organized we are also provide a glimpse of the major component of the operating system or you can say what are the major functions of the operating system is so we will discuss all these in this first now we will discuss what is an operating system is operating system is a program that acts as an intermediary between a user of a computer and the hardware suppose i am using a computer so i am a user of the computer and if we are using a laptop this contains some hardware and operating system lies between this in a upper layer of the hardware and interacting with the user so uh, operating system is a program that acts between intermediary between user of a computer and the computer hardware what are the goals of the operating system the main goals of the operating systems are execute user programs and make solving user problems easier make the component system computer system convenient for use whatever the system is the computer is having whether it is the memory whether it is the cpu input output all the computer system should be convenient to use use the computer hardware in an efficient manner the computer hardware should also be efficiently used it should be used efficiently it should not be the case that um, simple one program or a user is just using the all the resources and if it someone is stuck in that somebody is betting of us resources it should not be the case mean to say the computer hardware should be used in a efficient manner so this is the operating systems goal now this is Uh, before uh, going to this uh, again the operating system we will discuss this what is actually the computer system structure how our computer system structure looks like in a broad sense if we will see there is a hardware of the computer system a operating system is there some application programs which are running on the system and of course the users which will use this computer system so when we will talk about the hardware hardware provides us basic computing resources like cpu central processing unit memory memory we are all are having memory 4 gb 8 gb ram or uh, 1 tb ram 1 tb hard disk drive 512 mb uh, gb hard disk drive input output devices we are having huh? input output devices keyboard mouse all these things are input output devices printer is the output devices so these all things come under the category of the hardware so hardware provide basic computing resources whether it is a cpu memory or input output devices the second point is come first is hardware another is the upper layer of the hardware you can see is the operating system operating system controls and coordinates use of hardware among various applications and users there could be various users who are using a system if a system is a multi program system so various users are using that and it may also possible a same system is running various applications program so it is the duty or it is the operating system sees how it will control and coordinates use of hardware among various applications and user applications programs applications programs define the ways in which the system resources are used to solve the computing problems of the user a 
examples of the some of the application programs are word processors compilers web browsers database system video games etc we are using these all are application programs users users could be nowadays you can use the system in a different ways users could be people and sometimes the user could be machines and other computers also so this is the combined overall picture of the computer system in this way you can say hardware operating system application program and users well also the see this uh, four components which we have discussed earlier now see the pictorial representation of this in the first layer we are seeing there are many users user 1 user 2 user 3 up to user n these users interact with the application programs these users interact whether they are interacting with the text editor whether we are we are writing or i am writing or we are writing something on the text editor or we are using the database system or we are making a some c program and we are compiling our program so actually we are interacting with the either with the text editor or a compiler or a database system this application program actually interacting with the operating system and operating system is an intermediate between the computer hardware and the user users you can say user interact with the of the application program and application program interacting with the operating system so in the lower layer you will see there is the computer hardware after that operating system will be there so operating system actually interacting with the hardware and the application program or you can say the indirectly to the user so this is these are the four components of a computer system now what operating system does depends on the point of view users what convenience ease of use mainly functions so you can say the operating system is how users it will provide convenience to the user ease of use and good performance users don't care about the resource utilization ha uh, what the resources is users need not to worry about the resource utilization however if the users are working in a shared environment okay when we are using some if we are using in a main frame or a micro computer so it is the duty of the operating system that it keeps its all users happy mean to say if we if it is a main frame and there or some uh, memory working in a shared environment where the memory and the disk is sharing so it is the duty that all the users should get the resources at the um, and get its resources when and where needed users of dedicated system such as workstation have dedicated resources if the workstation or the system which are dedicated systems so they are having the dedicated resources but frequently use the shared resources from server hand held computers are resource poor optimize for usability and battery life some computers have little or no user interface such as embedded computers in devices and automobile so operating system definition or operating system function we can say operating system works as a resource allocator and operating system also works as a control program when it is work as a resource allocator it manages all the resources in the computer it decides between conflicting request request for efficient and fair resource use sometimes it may be possible that two users are requesting to the same resources or so a conflict uh, can be arise in that case the operating system decides which user has request first so it will allocate the resources to the user who will first or some based on the other algorithm or the scheduling policy it will assign the resources to that particular user so it defines how it mean to say our operating system says efficiently use the resources so it operating system works as a resource allocator 
operating system also works as a control program it controls execution of programs to present to prevent errors and improper use of the computer it is also works so as a control program so that the you know errors can be minimized and improper use of computers can be prevented so that computers can work properly and the next topic we will discuss what is the meaning of the batch operating system and multi program operating system okay so how the batch operating system and the multi program operating system we will discuss in the next uh, lecture thanks thanks